Nityanandam. Hi, this is Ma Nitya Ovyananda. Today in my sannyas series, I wanted to read another excerpt from Swamiji's Living Enlightenment book. It's actually the abridged version. The regular version is super thick, thousands of pages. Anyhow, uh, and I'll include the book link on the website in the description of this YouTube video so you can lo log in and get it yourself and download it and read it for no charge. Anyhow, Swamiji speaks here about life is for enlightenment. The ultimate purpose and the very goal of life is enlightenment. He speaks of how we may think we want more money or better relationships and we keep striving and looking for other things, making it better, better careers, more money, bigger house, all of these things. But at the end of the day, people are basically unfulfilled with that. And what we call, especially after everything is reached, people reach name and fame, and you see all these celebrities and these stars, they have all this money in this huge land and multi-million dollar houses everywhere in the world, at least five different ones or what, but they're still not happy. They're on drugs, they're on booze, they're, you know, depressed, they're going through how many marriages, you know, so they're trying to find answers in all those places. But what it is, is we're just looking for fulfillment. There's something outside of us through something else in the material world. But it's not going to happen that way. What we're actually looking for is enlightenment. That is the purpose for human birth. And did you know, Swamiji confirms what's already in the Shastras, the sacred scriptures of Hinduism, that planet Earth is the only place, the only planet, the only place in the universe where a person can get enlightened where a person can become an enlightened being and reach that liberation, that enlightenment space. Planet Earth is the only place. So you actually have a precious opportunity and a precious chance to be having birth in this human body on planet Earth right now, especially with Swamiji here. And the, the vehicle and the way that it can be done is through sannyas. Sannyas is moving towards enlightenment. That is the only purpose in life. It's not an end to life, taking sannyas. You're not like calling an end to something, but you're beginning your life anew. You're saying, okay, I'm putting aside my material desires, my desires of name, fame, fortune, relationships, love, lust, money, whatever it is, I'm putting those ambitions away because they're just of the mind. They are just actually ambitions of the mind, or maya, you can say. It's delusion. It's keeping you away from the goal. For whatever uh, reason, without getting into it, there is that space that's trying to keep you away from that goal. The mind and the ego. The mind and the ego wants to sustain itself within your body, within your space, within your being. So it's trying to divert you. But when you say, I'm going to renounce those things, means I'm going to give those and renounce those. I'm going to decide make the decision to move into the space of sannyas. I'm going to take up that spiritual life and decide that the rest of my life, this life on this earth, in this body, is going to be for the achievement of enlightenment, the realization of God, divine, sadashiva. And the beauty with Swamiji is he's not just any living master, he's an avatar. So his only purpose is, is he's landed in the human form to raise the consciousness, not just of a few people, but of the entire planet. So this is what he's doing, and he's able to transmit his experience to other people. That's what makes him so unique and different. So when you take sannyas with Swamiji, you are able to live in that space more and more and get into that experience. So you're not just practicing some techniques or kriyas or yogas or chanting or mantras. You're actually living in that space. Your connection with him, once you take kavi, once you take this orange cloth, you're connected to him in a deeper level that no other devotee, no other disciple can experience. So it is a sacred place, a sacred space within you, a special connection with him. And that is the only thing that is important in life. So please, go and check out innerawakening.org. You can find out what it's like to be experiencing him. Taking sannyas might be a big step for you to make, to take up your whole life and decide I'm going to take sannyas. But what you can do for yourself is you can log in to innerawakening.org and sign up for the Inner Awakening program. Spend 21 days with Swamiji. You'll understand what it is like to be in his space. And with that, you can understand what it is like to be in an avatar space what it's like to have his darshan, what it's like to hear him speak and get into that space with him, which will be, I guarantee, the most amazing experience of your life. 
There is no roller coaster, no money, no food, drink, anything. Nothing is worth that moment when you have that energy direction with Swamiji. That is the highlight of my life, and I'm pretty sure it'll also be the highlight of your life. And you will understand that awakening will happen within you, and you'll understand that being around him, being in his energy field, and understanding that space is what you are meant to do. You will have that click. And whether or not you take sannyas, or just decide to live out your life uh, in the material world, that's no problem, because everybody has their own goal. I mean, the ultimate goal of life is sannyas, is enlightenment. But you can still have a beautiful, enlightening living space when you have Swamiji as your guru. So just come and meet him, see what happens, and I guarantee you won't regret it. Thank you very much for watching today. Nityanandam.